To create new routes for a specific destination set, navigate to the Vendors section, select the Routing menu, and click on the Destination Set option. Once on the Destination Sets page, click the Open Routes link next to the relevant Destination Set entry to begin creating new routes. Let's first create routes for the Green Telecom Destination Set. In this training, we are adding routes one by one, but you can also import routes in bulk. Press the Add button to add a new individual route. In this field, you need to specify the prefix of the new route. The prefix and other parameters of the route must be received from your vendor. If you want this route to be used as the last in the list of all the routes the system selects from in the routing policy, check the Hunt Stop checkbox. We will learn more about routing policies in the next tutorial. Set the first timeout to specify the time limit for requesting the vendor system. If the vendor system does not respond successfully within this time limit, the system will start searching for an alternative route to terminate the call to this destination. Set the second timeout. You can learn more about timeouts in the SIPI soft switch documentation. Preference should be set to allow the system to select from several similar routes. In the case of several similar prefixes, the system selects the route with a higher preference. Set the activation date. The route will be activated from the date specified in this field. If you also set an expiration date, the route will be deactivated after this date. Set interval 1 and the price for interval 1. For more information about route pricing, please review SIPI soft switch documentation. In the same way, you can specify interval N and the price of interval N. Let's leave the interval N as it is and set a price. Press save and close to save all changes made and return to the previous page. To demonstrate how to create routing groups in the next tutorial, we have added several more routes. You can practice adding more routes to your system yourself. Once you have added the necessary destination sets along with their routes, you're all set to move forward with creating and configuring routing groups. We will show you how to configure routing groups in the next video tutorial.